fucking awesome. That's what are they? All right, well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Donnie is over here. It's a temporary fix. Uh-huh, right? uh-huh, uh-huh. No. We've already established that in 2021, the level of Audi care is about this much with his generation. Meanwhile, he's spraying. I'm saving this car. I'm just <laughs> saving this car. <laughs> How's that water water working? It's Is it sticky. like Play-Doh? No, it's not. It, yeah. Once it gets hot, it doesn't like to be molded. <laughs> All right. And Make I know sure what everybody. Air, there's an air pocket right there. I can see it. Yeah, I know your... what everybody's gonna say. Ooh, just fix it. Well, this is gonna get me home. Now this would get you off the side of the road. Here, and let's be honest. Most of us are a little lazy. So this, if you got straight on the side of the road and did this, and it got you home, I would still fix it. I'm just that type of person. I couldn't like this. Is how gonna... long would that? Like, how long are you gonna leave that for? This is gonna be on here until it'll probably be on here until the middle of the week. Right on. Good. Go you. I don't. Go I you. Can't, I can't. So this is just preventative then. Yeah, this is just preventative to get me to work and back home. We'll fix it. All right. Well, we're gonna hold you to that because I got you on camera All saying right, it. Fuck it. Just double up on it, right? Yeah, you're good. It, dude, it's fine. Cram that shit down in there. There you go. There you go. Ugh. All right. So here, anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with me showing him him shoving his finger in white poopy <laughs> Play-Doh stuff. But here's the thing. Vlogmas is technically over. I don't know what I want to do. I kind of enjoyed doing Vlogmas. It was fun. But seven days a week for 24 days straight was, from a perspective, who? Um, it wasn't hard. It, and going into the beginning of it, I said it was hard. But after doing it, it really wasn't that bad. It was just, okay, this is my schedule. This is what I do. I got in that mode. I enjoyed doing it because I, it was a way to, I, I built a, we did a lot of shit in 24 days, yeah, I feel like. Like, on the other side of it, TV's loud. You found it? What do you need? Screwdriver. Top one. Other side of that is, what was I saying? Shit. Oh, vlogmas. Daily vlogging. I, uh, I don't necessarily think I want to stop daily vlogging either. I think what I'm committed and willing to do is I'm going to do five days a week. So technically what you would see would be like a Sunday through a Thursday. But in YouTube world, it's like a Monday through a Friday. You know, I got... Uh, popsicle sticks inside. Yeah, I think it would work a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. Oh no, did I take the popsicle sticks home for arts and crafts? My bad. Popsicle sticks went home for arts and crafts. We made catapults out of those. All good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna commit to making, it's not even a vlog necessarily. It'll be, it probably will be more of a vlog. I mean, is it? I don't know. Would you consider, you know who Jimmy Oaks is, right? Yeah. Would you consider Jimmy Oaks is a vlog? Yeah, I would. Okay. Because, I mean, here, I think, like, TJ Hunt's upload style is a vlog format. What do you think? Are you leaking? Yes, I'm already leaking. Pushing on it. Let it dry. I'm trying to get this hole covered up, because that's where, it's, where, I, where I push on there. Yo, let's go put this thing inside where it's warm. The hood is bent. Oh, is it? How bent is it? That's not bad. No, these, not some bad. of these lights glare horribly. So the game plan today is we're gonna go get some food. Yes, sir. And we gotta take get rid of that pesky F-150. This is obviously gonna have to cure some, and then we're gonna work on this. But I haven't decided what we're gonna do yet. Yeah, there's pins and okay, so in the there's little coils in there. Like you unscrew them different ways, and it'll raise and lower well, each this side. Have, this doesn't have the bolts for the bumper. Oh well, that's oh. two thirds of your. Get, take the ones off the other car. That one, they didn't have them either. No. They didn't have them. The bolts that come up the from the- bolt that goes into the, yeah. the support? Yeah, no. Who the hell does that? That's not, that's some sketchy stuff. Come on, guys. Um, I think I got some bolts for those. Yo, um, yes, yeah, somewhere in here there's some bolts. I got a lot of shit in a small space. It wouldn't look like I have, have you, so much have shit. You, have you noticed since uh, me and you became friends, you've now swapped over from B5 stuff to B6 stuff? You got three of them now? <sighs> Instead of a fat S4, it's a skinny A6. Is that, that makes, yeah, it makes sense in my mind. Get over it. So when you're putting stuff like this on a recommend, I, I would do this. Donnie forgot to do it. And I didn't, I was a bad friend and didn't mention it. Take the radiator cap off. So it relieves the pressure because what's happening is it's there's enough pressure in the system and it's finding little bitty pinholes. It probably doesn't help that he drove it inside and moved a bunch of coolant around. But once this, oh yeah, see, you can see it. The coolant's found a pinhole in there. So you definitely want to go ahead and make up some more. Good, again, 
Temporary yeah, no big deal. I mean, here, if it works and solves the problem, the reality is it might buy you six months to a year. It might only buy you two weeks. It might buy you 500 miles. Like, you don't know the reality of how long it is. When you do stuff like this, it is a gamble. And that's all there is to it. There are some things that I would put JB Weldo on in a heartbeat. Like the whole pantyhose things? on for a belt it works oh i've shoelaces oh, oh, it works i've used tennis shoelaces for a belt before it works i just put soap on the belt of the f-150 so far it's working i'd put jb weld on a metal in tank in a heartbeat in a heartbeat anything metal that's not like exhaust yeah. on a what we on a crack the block before and we ran 800 horsepower off, off of it oh shit all right, well, I haven't tried to do that yet. Now I know it's possible. <laughs> you all right there, dude? It gets fucking hot, bro. <laughs> all right, so changing today's adventure plans. My boy Bill Harris with his RS7. His is pretty sick. He's got a stage one on his. He wants me to do some wheel spacer testing for him. So Bill is one of the coolest customers also because he will buy tools so that we can do a job for his car. And then I get the tools yeah. afterwards. That's cool. Yeah, he's a cool cat. All right, well, time for a road test. We're gonna go give it a shot. It said, what was it, like 20 minutes or something for fully cure, or that's when you gotta see a physician? No, that's when you gotta see a physician if your hands are continue burning. Oh, 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 okay, well. Anyway, it's been on there for about an hour, so we're gonna go take the, we're gonna go take Bill's truck back to him, do some test fitting, order some spacers, get some food, and then we'll be back to do race car things. Right? Yep. Got the plan? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. We'll be back. Mm. You hear that? You hear it? I hope you hear it. Yep. Okay, at the end of the day, we knew we was, could have had to put a belt on it. I tried to do the soap method. Have you ever tried that? Oh, yeah. Works every time. It worked. I did it yesterday. For a little bit. A little bit. Like two hours, 24 hours. Best food in the world. I've never had a Jersey Mike. Oh, never had Jersey Mike's. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Damn, was that good? Got you fumbling? Man, <laughs> man, that stuff is. The uh, Jersey Mike's. Go try it out. I had the big kahuna. The thing is, the, it's just get it regular. Get it regular. Garlic bread. Regular size, don't overstuff yourself. It's fan freaking tastic. Oh, we get some dirt. Excuse me. Mm. Yep. Yeah, excuse me. Yep. This is good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Onward and upward. Here we go. Right, where are we going now? Oh. Look at those big old ignorant suckers. How much was this package on this car to upgrade for these? Um, I think they charged. I think it's like 25,000. What? That's ridiculous. Six pistons. There's a lot of brake. I want to swap this on my B5. That's not so bad. You got a little bit of drum. One of these days, I'm going to remember to turn this thing down more often. All right, guys. So we're back from the RS7 things. And it's, Bill was on one of his Asian fetish moments. And he was like, I'm not giving anybody a ride. I want to go be with my girlfriend. What are those? Are those are those are probably from like 2005. I have no idea, but man, they've been there for a while. Let me see those. Maybe we can sell them to Gary V. I've already found like a dollar fifty and change. Really? Yeah. What years are coins? These are like old school Poly Pocket. 1995. That has 1995 on the bottom of it. These are some oldies. That means that these are older than the car. Shut Yo! up! <laughs> what? Oh, there's no tape in it. I wonder if we put batteries in it, will it work? Your car's got some cool stuff in it, dude. I don't think we're gonna work on the race car today. I'm kind of in that blah mood, but I have made a decision about a new posting schedule. So here's what I'm gonna do. I think I mentioned this earlier. I'm gonna go to the Monday through Friday. Also, I've looked at the analytics a little bit and 10 o'clock in the morning is not a prime time for posting. According to my analytics, it says between one and three is where 90% of you guys, and it says that more people view content during the one to three time frame. What'd you find out? I don't know. I, I know what, what it is, is but I don't remember what it is. Oh, um, 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 this is uh, Diego. 
Is it Diego? I, I think, I think this is from um, the Diego cartoon. We're gonna go with three o'clock. It starts to get really, really purple right in here. And 10 o'clock is where the light purple is. So there's more traffic users around the three o'clock range. We're gonna try that for the next 30 days, see what happens. I'm doing a little mini test. You guys are my guinea pigs, so thank you. What's that thing when you do something against your will? Unknowingly soliciting yourselves to my analytic testing. That sounds safe, right? Yeah. Let's get some more shit done, shall we? Before the battery dies. We've got the pump out. Well, this isn't the pump. This is the leveling side of the pump. And it's apparent what's wrong with it. First off, ground strap, that wire right there is broken. And this attaches to that. That all is supposed to be attached together oh, in some funky, broke. yeah. If the gauge in your B6 is doing really wonky things, that's why. Like I've seen people fix that. They plastic weld them back together. Yeah, I don't necessarily know if I would plastic weld it together, but in this case, we're gonna use this one and put it in his other car. We're gonna rob the one out of that car for this car. Your fuel pump is on this side, but the return system is on that side of the car. It has this weird spider network. If I can find a picture, I'll pop a picture up right here of how the gas tank actually works on this car. But these have what's called a saddle tank. And the tank starts here and does one of these. If you can imagine, this is what the tank looks like. And from the top, from the top of it, the tank looks like this, like that right there with a line that comes over, fuel that comes here and other things. Yeah, it's kind of like a guy bending over and this way it looks like a weird shaped female toy. Yeah, that's the gas <laughs> tank in this thing. So, you wanna get the part out of the other car? Yeah. All right, let's do it to it. How's it coming? Natalia and Sasha. Natalia and Sasha? Natalia and Sasha. Who's Natalia? Natalia. Oh, this Sasha. is Natalia. That's Sasha. Call them the twins. Mm. Ah, what are you doing? Oh. Take your plugs loose. I know, I know. Remember how I did it? Push it down. Push the plug down. Now pull it up. There you go. Push it to push the yeah. connector down. And then these two. Now there you go. And it'll pull right off. Dude, I preach that in my video so hard. Because if you just go and yank on them, if you go and just yank on an Audi connector, like it will not come loose. There you go. Oh, that one's already moving. Pop that thing right up out of there. You want a gummy bear? You want a gummy bear? I'm very bad when it comes to breaking shit, so. Eventually. Finesse this thing out of here. There we go. So what part is that? Uh, is that the part that pumps over from this side? Yeah. This ain't that hard a job. You just gotta, gotta be a little tough, gingerly tough on the parts. Like, even though they're plastic? Yeah, like you got, you yeah. gotta be. And you're afraid they're gonna break? Right, right. It's like an affirmative action type of thing. Like, all right, dude, you're gonna do it this way. Don't argue with me. I don't care what you have to say. Moment of truth, world. Moment of truth. How much gas does Donnie really have? Drop your drop your thoughts in the comments below. Does it register on the gauge? Yeah. And yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. yeah. I got my gas gauge back, Yeah. So Donnie, every time he would take a big road trip with us, he would be driving basically off two things: one, his odometer, and two, when the rest of us had to fill up. Oh. All right, be back in a bit and check in some more. Yeah. All right, well, today's been kind of proactive-ish. Would you say it's been proactive? Some stuff done. Yeah, some stuff. All the seat brackets out of this, I think I already mentioned it. If it happens to be anybody out there in the world who wants to sponsor the Rowdy Audi, the only LSA powered A6 Pro Spec drift car, I do need some safety seats. You know, I have a dog named Sparko, so I think it's only logical that maybe Sparko seats, Sparko dog, matching collar, that should be a thing. But other than that, that's fixed. I'm you ready to do more race car stuff, but he's ready to go to bed, so. No, that's a lie. <laughs> I not go to bed, no. I'm not to ready to go to bed. Not go to bed. I gotta edit. When are you planning on coming back? Next week, like I said, the weekends are free. My job this week is to get seat brackets made for the car. Yo, I almost forgot about this thing. So, Bill's house today, right? And I got this. This is from ECS Tuning. So basically what this lets you do, test different wheel space adaption. So you got like a 15 millimeter, a 2.5, a 10 mil, a one mil, a five mil. 
and then you've got all your wheel studs and lug nuts to fit accordingly. The cool thing about this kit though is you can do this like a loan a tool. So you can buy this from them, I think if they're like $140, and then you can return it. Obviously double check their return bylaws and send them a text message or an email, but you can do that. They've turned it into like a loan a tool program from like AutoZone, but as far as a product that's out on the market that you can purchase, Highly recommend one of these if you don't know what type of wheel spacers you want or if you're looking to find like you want to upgrade wheels and you want the right offset wheel and you don't want wheel spacers, this kit can also help you figure out what that offset is because you can take this plus what you have and do some math, boom, there you go, you got a number. It's a very cool tool that's available and for the price point, save you a lot of headache. Or find somebody like me who has one and if you're in the area, Ask your friends, maybe one of them has one. Ask the shop. Any good wheel and tire shop should have a kit similar to this so that they can figure out what the right offset is. You know, they might just know from experience. Food for thought. Yo, we didn't break the vlog. We're good. Woo. We are good. Y'all just ate shit on that rocker panel and then the concrete. I think that's where we're gonna end this week's, I think that's where we're gonna end it today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and if you're new to the channel because the AI got you here, smash that subscribe button to get notified of all the insane, stupid content that we attempt to put out on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Audi. Donnie? Until next time. Bye.